the biggest uh, event in squash, so this, this is the title that people are chasing. If you're a squash player, or a squash fan or you're a sports fan, then it doesn't get any bigger than this. This is an iconic venue within the city and it's also right slap bang in the middle of the city centre. So what we want to be able to do is actually bring our sport you know, to the middle of, of, of one of the great cities of the UK. For people who want to come watch the squash, uh, it's not as, a, as if you like, an obscure, obscure sporting location, it's right in the heart of the, uh, heart of the city and I think that's going to give a real excitement to the chance when they take place. We've got a, a, a programme of major sporting events. It's not just about though, elite, elite sport. It, we have uh, uh, massive programmes of club development of involving uh, getting young people involved and certainly that's the case with squash where we have a, a, a very lively junior league within the, within the city, an increasing number of schools taking up squash within the city. That having the later stages in such an iconic city centre venue hopefully get us out to crowds that have not uh, been familiar with squash before hopefully will attract not just the sort of the squash um, loyal fans but also people who've never seen it before want to see something new and exciting and I think venues such as this adds to that appeal to, to get new spectators and new fans on board. I think it's just one of them sports that when you start playing it and once you get into it you, you just become hooked and, and that's the thing, kids kids do become hooked on, on sport. It's definitely working, more kids are taking the sport up, more kids are playing it, the structure's good and um, you know it's only a matter of time before the next Nick Matthew comes along. from our view, you know, very, very successful. So I think this year will be uh, another year where we're, we're going to be up there with the, uh, the best across the world. I've had a great record in Manchester, always felt at home here. Yeah. Combination, uh, we think of it as a unique combination, you know, of skill and speed and strength and endurance. And he's done it, Rami Ashore has become... Rami is undoubtedly on fire at the moment. I mean, he's 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 playing absolutely faultless squash. But you know that kind of thing can't last. And if you look at our top guys, they're only a whisker away from him. And all you got to do is have a good week and put pressure on him. You look at the way that people like Nick Matthew and James Wilshot, Peter Barker, Daryl Selby play, that you'll actually see, you know, how close these guys are at the top. So um, I'm very confident that we'll have really, really good English success actually here in in November. There'll be blood, sweat and tears throughout the week here in Manchester and uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's not going to be one to be missed, that's for certain.